Hello and welcome to my channel. I am an analyst at an economic consulting firm and today I'm going to be spilling the tea on what is happening with the economic consulting industry during COVID. These are the questions I'm going to be answering today. I will put the timestamps in the description as well so you can skip around. Generally, in most recessionary periods, lawsuits increase, so econ consulting firms usually do very well during recessionary periods. In fact, there are some lawsuits that are still happening in 2020 because of the 2008 recession. However, this 2020 COVID chaos is not your typical recession. Most courthouses have been shut down, and even though there are many people who work in the legal system, like public defenders who are considered essential workers, Economic consultants are not considered essential workers. So econ consulting firms in the US have mostly been remote since March. Because of the technical nature of econ consulting work, this transition to remote work has been pretty manageable. Many firms still had full 10-week internships this summer. They were just remote internships. Many firms also did not change start dates for their new hires. However, some econ consulting firms are struggling, and the amount of struggle is mostly dependent on two firm-specific factors, firm size and the type of litigation that the firm specializes in. A lot of small firms are okay right now because they were able to qualify for and secure government assistance. Most large firms were not able to do this. Other firms that may not be doing well include firms that specialize in antitrust cases. Usually in these types of cases, two companies are trying to merge, and economic consultants are hired to assist with the regulatory review and determine whether or not the merger would result in anti-competitive outcomes. However, because of COVID, a lot of mergers are not happening. Cornerstone Research is an economic consulting firm that recently published an article about this. COVID-19 pandemic drove merger transactions reported to FTC and DOJ to a 10-year low. There are also so many other practice areas outside of antitrust litigation that econ consulting firms are involved in. And before I go into detail on what those cases look like, a brief announcement. If this video gets 50 likes, I will film a day in my life as an economic consulting analyst working from home. If this video gets 100 likes, I will make another video about salaries in the economic consulting industry, including how much you can expect to make as an entry-level analyst, how much I make, and all your other burning questions about bonuses and benefits. And my channel is tiny, so for this video to get 50 likes, you're probably going to need to share it with at least one other person. Back to the practice areas that are doing well. This includes finance and damages litigation. Besides these practice areas, any economic consulting firms that do a lot of government work are probably doing pretty well right now too, because the US government is not going out of business anytime soon. Now, as far as the next few months and years go, a lot of econ consulting firms can expect an uptick in workload because of new lawsuits related to COVID-19 damages. And before I address whether or not you should still recruit for econ consulting roles as a new or soon to be college grad, I want to talk about how some of these struggling firms are coping. There are several cost-cutting measures that these firms have taken, including canceling, delaying, or shortening internships, delaying start dates for new hires, and reducing end-of-year bonuses for current employees. And now, having cleared the air about the industry health overall, do I think you should recruit for economic consulting jobs? Well, if you already watched my video on the pros and cons of economic consulting, and you feel like the industry is a good fit for you and your skills, I would not let COVID stop you from applying to those jobs. Some companies are looking to hire right now. However, it is going to be more competitive than in previous years, which is why I would recommend that you be very proactive and open-minded in your job search. Don't only apply to economic consulting roles. If you think you would be a good fit for this industry, you probably have a lot of transferable skills that may be useful in other industries as well. If this video was helpful, please like it, subscribe if you have not already, and comment below any questions that you have about the economic consulting industry. Bye.